Hi, I'm kind of excited. We get to do an ice table with an acid reaction and pH. Uh, pH is a huge clue when we're doing um, our acid base reactions and trying to figure out an equilibrium constant. Okay, so here we have it. Here's the problem, and I'm going to explain this as we go. This is butanoic acid. It's going to react with water to produce a butanoate. Um, uh, that's going to be the conjugate base, okay? So it produces this ion plus a hydronium ion. Uh, and this is the information that you're given, that you begin with a 0 0.05 molar uh, concentration of butanoic acid, and this reaction comes to equilibrium. They put a pH probe in the solution, and the pH is 2.72. Well, they want to know Ka. They're saying, what is this ionization constant, the equilibrium constant for the acid reaction. Um, so what we're going to do is an ice table. Now, in doing ice tables, you'll recall that there are three things that we need. In fact, I'll write this down. There are always three crucial pieces of information. There's going to be the equilibrium constant. In this case, it's Ka. Um, there's going to be the initial concentration. And then you have the concentrations that are final that are at equilibrium. So in order to solve for one, you have to have the other two. Well, they gave us the initial concentration. Great, we've got one right there. They want Ka, all right, that's my unknown. But in order to find out that unknown, I need the equilibrium concentration. Guess what? That comes from the pH. Okay, so I want you to think this through with me. We're going to have this um, butanoic acid, drop it into water, okay? It reacts, but remember, it's a weak acid, so it only partially ionizes. Only some of this reacts. If I had to guess, maybe 5% of that butanoic acid is going to react. So some of it reacts with the water and produces the butanoate ion and the hydronium ion. Now it comes into beautiful equilibrium. The rate at which the reactants change to products is the same rate at which the products change to reactants. It comes into this beautiful equilibrium, and then we have constant concentrations. I have an amount of reactant and amount of product, and that's the K value. It's the ratio of products over reactants, products over reactants, those concentrations, when we're at that beautiful equilibrium. Um, so check it out. One of our products is hydronium ion. That's how we get pH. pH is per hydrogen, the amount of hydrogen. Um, so we can use pH to find the hydronium at equilibrium. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to do it right over here. Our formula mm -hmm. to find our hydrogen concentration, and remember, chemists use hydrogen and hydronium um, interchangeably, synonymously. Uh, the hydrogen concentration is going to equal 10 to the negative pH. Now, if you're not familiar with that, um, go back to my pH formulas, and I also have pH formula examples and calculations for you is under the playlist, acid base equilibrium. So look at that playlist. Um, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Uh, we are going to have, let's see here, 10 to the negative 2.72. And so when I plug that in, and again, it's the same thing as I hydronium. When we plug that in, I get um, a hydrogen concentration of 0 0.00191. Okay, now that unit is molarity. That is my E right here. Let's go ahead and fill out the ice table and I'll show you where we'll put it. Um, so water, it's a liquid. We don't use liquid or um, solids in our equilibrium expressions. And so let's just put dashes for those three. Now, initially, when I first have this butanoic acid, there's not going to be any butanoate ion, zero, and no hydrogen ion, okay, zero. Now change. So I'm looking at those coefficients. We're going to lose an amount of the butanoic acid, and for every one mole that I lose, I'm going to gain one mole of the butanoate and one mole of that um, hydronium ion. E is super easy. All we have to do is do I plus C. So we're going to have 0 0.055 minus X. Zero plus X is X. Zero plus X is X. Well, but the beauty of pH, guess what? We have X. X is right there. It's the concentration of the hydrogen ion. We got that from the pH. So cool. 
Um, so let's go ahead and put this here. The x equals 0.00191. I'll put this here. 0.00911191. And I can just plug in x for everything. If I plug in x right here, 0 0.00191, we are going to get the concentration is 0 0.05. Three, one. Okay, um, from here, let's go ahead and plug it into our equilibrium expression. So Ka is going to be products. This is our uh, butanoate ion times the hydronium. Again, that's just the same thing as a hydrogen ion divided by our butanoic, um, oh, sorry, that was a three, our butanoic acid, CO2H, there we go. We can go ahead and substitute values in. Ka will equal, okay, we're going to have 0 0.00191, and they're the same, so I could do that as, um, actually, do you know what? I wanna show you this explicitly, because this, by chance, might be the first time you're seeing it. Um, this is gonna be x times x, x squared, right? X times x, x squared, divided by the 0.005, oh, sorry, 0.055 uh, minus x. Now we plug in those numbers. So we're going to have 0 0.00191, that's squared, divided by, I already subtracted that, 0 0.0531 equals, let's put that into our calculator, and we are going to get 6.87 times 10 to the minus 5. And that is our Ka. That's our Ka. So review this in your head really quick. What is Ka? That's the ratio of products over reactants. When this reaction, we drop the butanoic acid into the water, when it comes to equal rates, perfect equilibrium, our concentrations, it is going to be reactant favored. We know that because weak acids only partially ionize. Uh, but I'll be honest, a 10 to the minus five, that's still a pretty good acid. That's still a pretty good acid. So this is the ratio of the concentration of products over the concentration of reactants. Nice, that was fun. I hope that was exciting. <laughs> um, I have a lot more examples using ice tables with acid-based reactions. Look at that acid-based equilibrium playlist if you want some more practice. All right, thanks.